Hey guys, JC Smith here. Uh, I didn't do much videoing today because I spent the day pressure washing a truck and truck parts. Not really interesting, um, pretty boring, and I didn't want to waste your time uh, with a video on that. So, uh, anyways, let me get on with where we're at in the project. Um, we're waiting on parts. I need a timing cover gasket and timing seal for the uh, timing cover that I need to change out, and I need to change it out because on the truck we're fixing, uh, the radiator, the fan shroud that's mounted to the engine mounts on four studs. There's two at the bottom, two at the top. The two at the bottom uh, were bent over and cracked the timing cover. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to let it go like that. I want it right. So we took the timing cover off the donor truck, and now we're going to change it over. I don't want to change it over until I have the gaskets and a new seal and all that, so we can uh, get it finished up and do it, you know, the best way we know how. So that project is kind of in, on hold right now uh, until the parts come in. It looks like it's going to be five to seven days, just depending on uh, shipment times and all that. But So where we're at is uh, tomorrow, well, let me back up. Um, I have one of three projects that we're going to start. What I want to do is I want to open it up to you. Um, I want to give you guys a chance to vote and tell me which one is more interesting to you because... Uh, I can only imagine you got to be getting tired of seeing white Ford trucks. Uh, I'm seeing them in my sleep right now. Um, it's not just the two trucks we're working on. It's it's the four trucks we tore apart and then the two trucks we're putting back together. And uh, this is kind of a nice break. I, I'm usually frustrated when we're waiting on parts because I just want to keep going and going. But um, at this point, I'm really okay with waiting on parts so we can break off to something else that's not a white Ford truck. So anyhow, let me get on to this. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to open this up to you guys to vote. Uh, I have three projects in mind. I'm going to let you guys vote and see which one we're going to do. Whatever you guys decide is the one we're going to go to. So the first one is the most labor intensive. This is a 2007 International 4300 Crew Cab. This truck the intentions to this truck are to build it in what we call a hauler. Um, it is something designed to where, uh, when we're finished with it, it could be used to haul a nice size camper, a pull behind trailer, a gooseneck trailer, a horse trailer, a race car trailer, um, whatever you want to haul, and have enough room for you know mom and dad and a bunch of kids or. Um, you know, a guy and all his buddies, or a lady and her whatever to go with horses, or whatever you guys want to do, whatever somebody wants to use it for. That's the intention of that truck. Well, what that entails is, uh, it currently has a VT365, and if you're not familiar with that engine, that is uh, what replaced the T444E, and if you're still not familiar, it's what Ford calls a 6 liter power stroke. Uh, International made it for Ford. This engine in this truck, it's kind of a low mileage truck. It needs some injectors, and uh, I'm not going to repair that and put it back. Or actually, I'm not going to put injectors in it and build the truck that way because it's not going to have enough power to do what we want to do with it. So we're going to pull that out. I've already bought a donor truck, a, pro, uh, a parts truck, you call it. Uh, it has a DT-466 and an Allison overdrive automatic. So we're going to pull out the engine that's in the truck and change it over to DT-466 and an Allison Automatic. We are also going to change the rear suspension. Currently, it is a spring ride suspension, and that is not the most attractive suspension for pulling anything on a light-duty side. So we're going to change that out to air ride. It's going to come off another international. Um, that's a pretty easy one. should be a one-day swap. It shouldn't be a big deal. Um, and then, well, when we do that, we're going to change the cab to axle because currently it's 84 and more than likely people are going to want it to be 60 to be as short as possible, being that the truck is already a crew cab. Excuse me, we already have the the bed here. I bought it a while ago so for this project. And I start accumulating parts ahead of time so that when I go to do the project, hopefully um, there's not a whole lot of surprises or things I need that... Uh, I gotta go search for it because that's always uh, very, very time consuming. So we need to change that out. We have the bed. So that would end up, that's a pretty labor intensive one. The next one, number two, is a trailer. Uh, I currently have, and I have had for years and years and years, a 30 foot deck over trailer. This trailer has 
30 foot of flat deck, no dovetail, and it's a pinnel hook. It's kind of an odd duck. Uh, it was a specialty built trailer to do one thing, and it did it well, but it doesn't do anything else well. So what we want to do is we want to take it, I'm going to give you a little drawing here, and see if this helps out at all. Um, currently what the truck, what the trailer is, is a pinnel hook with no dovetail, okay? Ooh, that's horrible. Jeez, oh Pete. Let me scribble that one out. Make this a little more, more closer to being accurate. There you go. Okay, so currently the trailer has a pinnel hook right here. This tongue is about six or seven feet, I can't recall. And then from the beginning of the deck to the rear is 30 feet. Uh, what we want to do is we want to change that and either make it a um, a gooseneck or a step deck and add a dovetail. So we want to go from this to this. Um, if we Now there's one or two ways. We're either going to come back here off the tail end five feet, cut it and make that into a dovetail or we're just going to add five foot to it and then move the axles back. What we're trying to get is 60% of the deck length will be from here to the center of the axles. That's what we're after. So from here to the center of the axles is 60% of this total length right here. Uh, so we'll have to move the axles and that's okay. We're all right with that. And we're not certain if we want to make this a gooseneck or a step deck. If I make it a step deck with a kingpin, I can use it with my 4500s. And if you've ever hooked up to a fifth wheel trailer, uh, it's a lot easier, a lot less time consuming. They don't pivot as well. Um, that's one of the downfalls because we'd be using a traditional semi fifth wheel which only pivots front to back, not side to side like an RV fifth wheel. So this is number two. So that'd be a kind of a neat build. Uh, we have to raise this at least 16 inches for the step deck. If we go to the gooseneck, I haven't figured that out, but I'm guessing that we need to come up probably 30, between 36 and 42 inches up here. Uh, and then the dovetail. So that's number two. Number three is, this one is the least labor intensive. It might be the more... I don't know if it's more interesting than you guys, but um, I have several international buses, and they all have 5.9 Cummins in them with Allison AT545 transmissions, air brakes, air ride suspensions, and the wrong rear ratio. Uh, they, the Allison AT545 is a four-speed automatic with straight drive. There's no overdrive. And the rear end ratios in these buses is 5.13. So when I tell you all this, and they're on 22.5 tires, you know, we're talking like 52, 54 miles an hour, and, you know, the engine's kind of, you know, getting kind of high in the RPMs. Now, what we want to do is we want to take that body off, take the bus off, and reduce it down to what it was when it came from the manufacturer as an incomplete chassis. So, what that means is it will be a frame, motor, transmission, rear end, steering, suspension, um, to where we can take that, and that prepares us for our next build. And that is, if if I have to make the choice because, you know, people just don't care, they're not interested, or we just don't get enough comments, um, that's the one I'll choose because that will set us up for the next build. Um, and I don't mean that badly, it's just the fact that, you know, it's reality, some people are interested, some aren't, but I hope you all are. I hope you guys like what we're doing anyways, I'll get back to that. Um, but if we do the bus, that sets us up for the next project so we can ease right into it so if we if we do the bus thing then we would start on it and then when our parts came in for the other ones we'd finish that and we'd slide right back into this because this is the next project we're going to do common sense is, and a little bit of intelligence on my part says hey let's do this but hey let's put it up to you guys you know you're the guys that are watching and um i don't know like i said i don't know if you're getting tired of seeing white trucks but Man, them white Ford trucks are, they feel like they're everywhere right now. Um, they're in my in my sleep at night. Uh, every time I, I go down the road, I got a bunch of them sitting here and a couple sitting here. And whew, I'd like to do something else. But, uh, so we're going to leave it up to you. Um, I'm going to run this until tomorrow night because tomorrow I'm going to spend some time cleaning the shop up, getting ready for the next project, putting tools away, reorganizing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then tomorrow evening I'm going to tally all the votes and, and what the comments say and what we're going to do and all that. And um, 
I'll pro I'm going to try and make a video tomorrow night and get it posted tomorrow about 8, 9 o'clock, something like that, where you guys can uh, have an idea of what we're doing. If I don't get it, then it'll be the following day, and you will know because I will have already started on it. So that's where we're at with that. Um, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, get on that little icon next to the subscribe so you can get the notifications. we got new videos out. Our intention is to do this as much as we can. Um, something new, keep you updated. I hope it's interesting. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, for all you new subscribers out there and everybody, all the other subscribers, everybody that we have, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I, I get a lot of guys coming from Jonathan W's still. Uh, he made comments, I think, once or twice in his videos, and I still get guys coming all the time telling me they're coming from Jonathan. So thank you for coming. Welcome. I, I'm glad you came over. I hope you like what we're doing. And thanks to Jonathan for uh, for telling us again, or for uh, referring us. I really appreciate that. But uh, And if you do like what we're doing, you know, uh, give us these thumbs up, man. We really appreciate that. And you got any questions or comments, leave in the comment box. Like I said, I'm going to run this until tomorrow about 8 o'clock, somewhere around there. So don't hesitate. Get your vote in if you're going to vote, and uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see where we end up, and I will uh, catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.